Cultural rehabilitation is increasingly recognized as integral in the reconstructing of communities and alleviating symptoms of psychological trauma. In July 2005, members of Theater Amoeba from Poland, Taiwan, and the United States joined the international relief effort in Bandache with their unique contribution of theater aid. The mission was to provide the intangible tools of creativity to assist in the process of cultural rehabilitation. In a little less than two months, Theater Amoeba taught dozens of classes and workshops, performed for hundreds, and empowered countless children, young adults, and teachers. The Youth Mentoring Program was just one of the educational workshops that were conducted. Theater Amoeba worked with the Boy Scouts and KSS to build leadership and teamworking skills through physical theater games, prop making, and improvisation. Translators were welcomed, but the workshops depend as little as possible on language. Interested students are encouraged to naturally develop their English skills through creative play. Theater Amoeba performed throughout Ache in temporary relocation barracks, incorporating members of the community, teachers, and students. Workshops teaching creative movement and drama with Kosma and the Lamjabat Foundation culminated in the original show, Mimpi Inda, or Sweet Dreams. The production included 30 children performers from the Lamjabat Foundation and music by Kosma. Mimpi Inda was performed for more than 100 families at Save the Children's Indonesian Children's Day Festival. After working with Theater Amoeba, Yayas and Lamjabat, or the Lamjabat Foundation, went on to direct and produce their own original show for Indonesian Independence Day. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in the U.S. I've been in Indonesia for two months now, uh, working with youth, with children, and with adults, teachers mostly, uh, using drama uh, to help with uh, trauma healing. Basically, we came up to Aceh after the tsunami um, and I was working at that point for a big international NGO and um, when I got here we saw that basically a lot of the NGOs didn't really know um, or understand what the community's needs were and the communities had no way to access the aid that the NGOs were bringing in. So um, I decided to leave the NGO that I was working for and start up something local so that we could try and act as a kind of facilitator for our community and for co other communities that we know to try and put them in touch with the NGOs so that they could get access to the aid that was available. <laughs> different activities that we do. Uh, one is the Children's Creativity Center that we're running here and we started this primarily again because there were some of the teachers from a state kindergarten school that was in our village in Namjabat who survived and um, they didn't have anything to do and they wanted to do something for the children of our area um, because all the children were split up in those first months and still are in various different locations. At the time we've been talking about trying to put on performances. Um, what the staff, um, the adults for the children, because it's always the children performing for the adults. And actually this is even better still, the timing was perfect to come in and do something because it was already something that we were looking at how we would do. Um, so um, the, having the children involved and the teachers a lot of the teachers that we have, they're not necessarily been involved in drama before, but they're learning and they're seeing and they're having a lot of fun at the same time. So, yeah, it's great. And hopefully it will continue as well after you go because now we've got a lot of ideas of, you know, different things that they can do. And they're very creative and they're very quick to learn and pick up on how to take things forward.
place where people have purple hair. <laughs> and it rains flowers and rice. I am Nemese here.